Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we're going to be setting up our own Plex server. For those of you that don't know what Plex is, it's pretty much a service that allows you to organize your media files into a nice interface, so you can stream your personal movie and music files onto your local network or to your mobile device using the Plex app. Basically, you have your own personal Netflix. First, we're going to head on over to Plex.tv. We're going to download the Windows version of Plex and get ready to set up our server. Once the download is finished, run the Plex .exe file to start the install. The Plex app for Windows will open up through your default web browser. Go ahead and sign in with your free Plex account or create one. If you want to purchase the Plex Pass, this is what it gets you. Now it's time to configure the Plex server. Tick the box to allow Plex Media Server to configure your network in order to access your media remotely. Next, we're going to create our media libraries. We're going to click Add Library and select Movies. Go to Add Folders on the left. And we're going to navigate to where all of our movie files are kept. Click Add Library and Plex will automatically start setting up your media files. Now do the same with the TV shows. Copy the file path and drop it right in there. Under the advanced section, you'll see here, these are the different databases you can use for your movies and TV shows. Go ahead and click done. Now Plex will take a few minutes to set up all of your media files. A few moments later. Now that that's finished, we have all of our movies listed here in our library. Keep in mind, I actually do own all of these movies. Over here on the left, you can sort by different categories. You can sort it by name, the date the movie released, your ratings on it. And you can also sort by genre as well. Now we're going to switch on over to TV shows. Again, this will give you a list of all of the shows in your library. And here's actually a good example of this. If the movie database mismatches one of your shows or movies, you can actually change that. So here, we have a Korean drama show called Full House. But what we actually have is the 80s and 90s sitcom Full House. If you select the show, you can click on the little settings option on the left, it's the three dots, and click Fix Incorrect Match. From there, you can make the correct selection. Plex will then take a minute or so to fix the changes. And last but not least, we have here on the home screen, area that shows your recently added movies and TV shows, as well as a section to continue watching wherever you left off on either a movie or a TV show. So now we're going to go ahead and access Plex on the Xbox app. 
And from here you have the same categories, movies, TV shows. And again here the Plex app will try and organize some of your movies and shows. Here you can pick up where you previously left off with your shows. And you'll see that the interface is fairly similar to any other streaming app that you would find. You can pause, rewind, fast forward, change the quality, and choose subtitles if they're available. Well that wraps up this video. Like the video if you liked what you saw, and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions about the Plex app or the setup, leave a comment below, or check out the support page on the Plex.tv website. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.